No, I think this is a watershed moment in British politics. It was such a spectacular result. I'm obviously really delighted for Helen Morgan, our new Liberal Democrat MP for North Shropshire. But I'm so proud of our party and our campaigners. I think we brought some new hope to the whole nation. And I think we've shown uh, that we can beat the Conservatives anywhere. We've beaten the Conservatives in two of their safest seats this year. Early this year in Darkest Blue, Buckinghamshire, the Chesham, Lamersham, and now in North Shropshire. So I think people will be encouraged that Boris Johnson and the Conservatives can be held to account, and Liberal Democrats can do that. Well, the party is over seemed to be a pretty effective slogan for you. What kind of things were you hearing on the doorstep, and when did you get the sense that this could go your way? Well, I travelled five times to North Shropshire, had 10 days campaigning there, so I talked to a lot of voters. And actually, to start, they were really talking about issues like the health service, long waiting times for ambulances, difficulties to see their GPs, the rising cost of living. And they felt the Conservatives were taking them for granted, had taken them for granted for many years. And you know, these are people who've played by the rules, who've always voted Conservative, and now they're turning to the Liberal Democrats. And you know, I, I think those local issues must be remembered. Of course, there were national issues. And I'm not surprised Boris Johnson, after his shocking Peppa Pig speech and, and all this party gates uh, where they've broken the rules that they've told us to follow, I'm not surprised that he's now losing uh, the support of lifelong conservatives. And many of them yeah, said the to me, they, many of them said to sorry me, they to, don't just. Sorry, sorry to interrupt you there, Mr. Davis, just saying the party chairman was saying, yes, the voters did give us a kicking, but we've full confidence in Boris Johnson, pr Prime Minister. And how long do you think that is going to remain the status quo? Well, I think the Conservative chairman should listen a bit more closely to the people of North Shropshire. They were telling me that they don't think Boris Johnson is a decent person, not a decent person to lead our country. And frankly, I think the people of North Shropshire have sent in a letter of no confidence in Boris Johnson to the Conservative 1922 committee. Uh, I think Conservative MPs will be very alarmed by this result uh, because these were lifelong Conservatives dismayed at Boris Johnson's lack of decency, saying... They don't like him. They don't want him. And so, you know, I, I felt for a long time, I felt that he's uh, not fit to lead our country. And I think more and more people now who used to trust Boris Johnson no longer do. Very good result for you in this particular constituency, Mr Davey, but you still have relatively few MPs. Uh, is this an inflection point, do you think, for the Liberal Democrats after the coalition which uh, really drastically damaged your electoral prospects? I think this is, is a historic moment for the Liberal Democrats. Let's remember we won a major uh, by-election victory earlier this year in Chesham Amersham in Blue Buckinghamshire, where we, we took a first brick out of the Conservative blue wall. Since then, we've been selecting amazing candidates in seats that we're going to be targeting at the next general election, seats from Guildford to Eastbourne, from Cheltenham to Wimbledon. And now we won another seat in a former Conservative heartland. And now we're going to go on to the local election. So I think the Liberal Democrats are on a roll now. I think people like what we say uh, about a fairer deal for people over the health service, over the schools, over the cost of living, and people responding very positively to our message. Okay. Uh, they All think right. that we're in with them and the Tories are out of touch. All right. I just want to say, Mr David, I don't know if it's your lighting, but I know you've got COVID. You don't look very well. How are you feeling? <laughs> Uh, not great, I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, I'm under the weather, but the sun is shining on the Liberal Democrats. <laughs> a dreadful note uh, on, on which on which to leave it there. Um, but uh, thank you very much indeed thank for speaking you. to us this morning. Ed Davey, thank you.